Welcome, 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 Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the business and career finance move. Um, this is the Taurus season, Capricorns, and I want to say this is beautiful. A lot of you Capricorns, this is going to be a very, very beautiful Taurus season. This is about your second house and what is coming up in your second house. And, um, you know, this is for a career, um, people, business, freelancers, and self-employed people. This is the reading. Um, if you want to see um, this, you can go on the other channel for the rest of the people, but this is mainly for business people, career, um, entrepreneurs, uh, that sort of a thing. All right, so this season um, begins from April 20th, April April 20th until uh, May 20th. Remember to use the link below in order and choose whatever crystal that uh, um, comes to you, whatever crystal that connects to you. Um, this is it. Your best week is going to be the week of April 20th until April 26th and um, the week of May 11th until uh, May 20th. Okay, the last and fourth week. All right, let's see what is happening. So I see a whole lot of money. I see they're, they're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian woman, uh, yes, an Aquarian woman tried to take a whole lot of money. They're going to be recognizing um, some sort of a um, false play of an Aquarian woman. Whoever this Aquarian woman is, uh, or um, it is someone between the ages of 19 and 45, they're going to be recognizing that this person had took a whole lot of money. And they're going to be recognizing this and coming down on this Aquarian person, whoever this Aquarian person is, I see a whole lot of you are having a whole lot of co communication with this person and um, you're recognizing that this person is uh, not, you know, you're holding off this person, whether it's an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran, I see you're dealing with this person having some sort of a communication with this person and um, this person first uh, is between is no is younger than fifty, and a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of communication. And I see you ladies are standing your ground. You ladies are like, uh, listen, I am not playing. You know, you ladies are really, really standing your ground. Um, and um, you know, it could be a team member or coworker that have uh, created a lot of. Uh, um, you know, just gossiping, gossiping and creating a lot of a uh, uh, situation. And I see this person is in reverse and you ladies just stood your grounds against this person and really show up for yourself and Rick and let this person know that, you know, I can stand on my own. I really don't need uh, um, people um, to be on my side. I'm someone who um, is aware of uh, uh, who I am and I can stand on my home. So I see some of you are going to be stepping back. Okay. It could be a coworker that tries to, um, you know, that just keep on talking, talking, talking. And is as if you're going to be asking to be removed to another, um, part of the room or ask for a new office or I'll ask for, because you recognize, and some of you are just going to be stop talking to a colleague because you recognize that you can't focus on your work because this person is just constantly, constantly going. And you're going to be recognizing by either re, um, relocating to another position of the room or another office, you're going to be able to focus more on your work, okay? It's as if this person is always calling and intervening when um, you know, you're really focusing on your work and you're going to be recognizing, I got to make a decision um, to remove myself away from this person because I need to focus more on my work. So what we recognize is that in the week of uh, the, um, the 28th the to the 26th of April, a whole lot of money, some of you could uh, make a whole lot of money in that week. Uh, if you are self-employed or um, a big payout could have come in in that week for you and that is going to be good. So business-wise and 
um you know this is going to be and it has been a good week for a lot of you where um you career is sales it could be sales customer service uh, um you could make a big bonus in that week that sort of a thing is coming up nine of pentacles is always venus in virgo and whenever venus in virgo is that a lot of you are happy with your work and happy with where you are happy with your career your project um how it's going so happiness is there for a lot of you then we're looking at the second week and the second week you're dealing um, it is the week of where it is May it is April 27th until May 3rd. You're dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. And this person is younger than 50. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, I think they recognize that this person was not above water. They are now recognizing that this person was, uh, wasn't was capable of, uh, um, you know, bringing out a process. They're now re recognizing that this person wastes time on their work. They're now recognizing that this person was not supposed to be in the position that they are because this person do not have uh, um, the um, expertise that they they needed. So I see that this person is now down, okay? And, you know, it could be by management. Management is recognizing that, hey, Capricorns is much better. Capricorns have a, a much braider understanding of what they're doing. So I see whoever this person is, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, some of you are going to be idle, walking away from this person or moving up the career ladder, um, without the, uh, you know, without this person because they're recognizing that this person was not aware of certain, certain business, uh, um, regulations. Okay. And, uh, rules and regulation and that this person have not the, uh, expertise what a Capricorn, you Capricorns have. And I see that you Capricorns are going to be, there people are going to be now looking at you Capricorns and is recognizing, hey, um, this Capricorn person have the potential that I've been looking for. And they're going to now trying to push people or push you in that right, correct, uh, correct direction, career direction, and that is going to be good. So, um, this is going to be absolutely fabulous. There's no question about it. Um, it is going to be good because what we're recognizing and we're seeing is that a lot of you Capricorns are going to be getting a, a help up, um, in, in the correct direction. And this is going to be good because they recognize, uh, that whoever, whether this person, this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra was your boss or not your boss, um, whoever this person is, do not have the potential that you have. Maybe you're interviewing for a job and you're going to be getting a position of an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra because this person was not, uh, um, they didn't have the expert and the knowledge uh, for the position that they were in. And I see people are going to be wanting um, to either offer some of you a job or offer some of you a higher position. So that is going to be good. In the week of May 4th till May 10, I see the Five of Swords, whatever the worries that some of you women were wary, um, the worries is now going to be over. Whatever that makes some of you um, Capricorn worry over your business at the work floor, uh, about your career, uh, worried about, no, 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 let it go, let it go, the, you need no longer to worry Capricorns, because whatever the worries was, it's going to be over, because they're going to be recognizing some of you Capricorns that could, there could have been someone that was creating a whole lot of uh, conflicts, and people are now recognizing, the boss are recognizing, co-workers are recognizing that Whoever this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is, um, is full of hair. Really just full of hair. Um, they recognize that this person um, just carried their weight around. That this person was not on top of their games. And this person could have, um, you know, speak uh, badly about some of you Capricorns. And now people, co-workers, boss, uh, management, um, 
you know, people who recognize your work is now recognizing, hey, this person is extremely, extremely good. What this person is, is very good. And, um, you know, you Capricorns are going to be getting some sort of a, uh, heads up. Okay. Could be on an acknowledgement, uh, um, for the work that you're doing. So not to worry about it. So let go of the worries. No need to worries in the week of uh, May, uh, yeah, four till May 10th. No need to worry. The worries is going to be over. Then we are looking at, uh, Mm, mm, mm. The last week, the week of May 11th until May uh, 20th. I see a lot of you older women or older people. It's going to be a very good week for you. This is going to be a week that you no longer uh, are worried about anything in your life. Basically, it is the week that you decided no longer to uh you know whatever issues at the workplace whatever issues um with other co-workers your colleagues and that sort of a thing that you were not feeling comfortable um with some sort of uh uh communication or conflicts that was going on this is going to be over it's as if you um older people recognize so uh, that uh, whoever this um, person is that was creating these issues, these problems, um, they were full of hair. Okay. Uh, and you know, there is a saying empty barrels, um, scream the loudest is because, um, when people start to scream and you know that people are not aware of uh, what they're doing, their process, their business, whatever they're doing. Um, you know, they don't know the rules of regulation and that's why they're screaming so loud. Okay. And if you notice people who are just seriously, um, just focus on their work, do their work, keep their heads down. Those are the people that know what they're doing. Okay. They don't have to be, uh, you know, throwing mails, letter and no, they just do their work and they, uh, deliver their work and that's it because they know what they're doing. And they are aware of what they're doing. So, um, you know, this is a situation where a lot of you could be getting some sort of acknowledgement, especially um, business women. I see you could be getting some sort of acknowledgement. And it's as if from, um, from the week before, it, it's like the worries is over. Um, whatever, because the five of swords, um, is Venus in Aquarian, Venus in Aquarian. And it, it, it is now over whatever that was transpiring, the communication. Um, and, and, and this is what I said to a lot of you is that you could be getting some sort of, a, uh, acknowledgement. It's going to be coming to, to a whole lot of you ladies. Um, and this is going to be wonderful. So a lot of people are going to be recognizing you and acknowledging you for the work that you have been doing. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. And this is going to be so powerful um, for a lot of you uh, ladies, entrepreneur ladies or entrepreneur ladies or in management position. Um, this is going to be good. It doesn't have to be ladies alone. I'm seeing men, but more the males. Uh, um, you know, this is coming up where women are going to be acknowledged, especially business women are going to be acknowledged for the work uh, that you have been doing. And this is going to be good. So congratulations and joy. Please remember to use the link below. Choose one of these um, symbols, whichever um, play out to you. Um, if you need to choose the first week and the second week. Um, you know, I would always choose uh, to see um, what this woman is saying, because once this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is in the reverse, it's, it's as if a lot of people recognize that this person was just full of hair. Um, you know, people are recognizing, yeah, you know, it, this person was bluffing and they bluff and they didn't win. Okay, they bluff a situation and they didn't win. So 
enjoy thumbs up share these videos is going to be a beautiful Taurus season a lot of you are going to be balancing out your financial stability a lot of you um, could be getting a lot of business in this series and uh, this season and especially after you leave May coming in May May is going to be a, um, a month that a lot of you are going to be financially stable and this is going to be good. I do love you guys. Share, share, share. Namaste until next time.